is it that we minister here and we can tell oil to come? And oil appears. We can call money. Why is it money can't hear you? Don't you have the same mouth? Don't you pray five hours a day? Some of you are on seven hours. Nothing comes after seven hours. Nothing. There is something about spiritual data. You lack understanding of how to code to the point that Christianity now in this world right now, most Christians that we have now, we are the weakest generation. We should be the most powerful. Christianity has just become an ideology where we argue with others. Muslims can come and argue with us and it's just who gives the best points wins. I was in, um, in Dubai and I bought my ring and I was supposed to buy Prophet is a ring. So we get into this jeweler shop and there is this Muslim guy. And I think a few minutes of seeing protocol moving with me and stuff like that got him confused. He's like, who is this guy? So I said, I'm coming back in a few minutes. So we were there. You might think, okay, is that your marriage day? No, we don't renew vows. They are never old. It's only the rings. Now just imagine, this man said, so what do you do? I said, me. He said, yes, what do you do? I said, oh, I hear from God. He said, I've just seen here that they say you are a prophet. I said, no, they don't say it. I can prove it now. I said, okay, just do what you do. I told him what was written on his mother's grave. You know the grave? The head is on that one. This, that. It's like, how do you know? He took his, his workers and put them in the back room and left me with my protocol there, with Pastor Ricky there, and all this. And he's talking and he's, he's like, man. I said, now, when is it you received a letter? And that letter said, your mortgage has been denied. He started asking, who is he? <laughs> they said, yeah, the same guy you said. Because in the Quran, they think Muhammad is the last prophet. He is not even the first or the second last or anything. Oh, he's not the prophet. No. So I said, whatever I'm doing now, tell me what it's called. Because I'm also confused. Since you think there is no other prophet, tell me what I'm doing now. What is it called? He said, man, how do you do this? I started going deeper, going deeper until the man wanted to hear. One of our guys here brought a Muslim brother to my house. He just arrived with him and I said, oh, look, want to talk to me? No problem. He's a businessman here. One of these multi-millionaires here brought his Muslim friend and he sat down with his Muslim friend around. We put a fire there and we're sitting down and the guy said, okay, so you're a prophet. I said, uh, yeah. He said, what do you do? I said, I can do this now. He's like, now? I said, now. Are you ready? He says, ah, yeah, just, just do it. So he's doing this thinking, I will not go deeper. I ended up on his fifth girlfriend. He just looked at this guy like, ha. Huh. I said to him, do you, does he know about your girlfriend? He said, never. Then I mentioned where his mother comes from. And that was Ukraine. I went to Ukraine. Mentioned the father's father. Mentioned what she did there. Mentioned their name and their middle name. Left that place. Went to Dubai. Went before the journey he made to Zimbabwe. I said, your uncle wanted to give you this and this and this. He said, you know what? This Christianity thing. Can I receive it now? <laughs> he turned to his friend and said, uh, you know what this man did? Yeah? Ah, 
these people are confusing us, man. This guy is a prophet, man. When you see the power that we have, when we start demonstrating that power, it's not some by chance we demonstrate it more than others. It's the information we have. Information makes you a king. What do you think is the difference between you and a rich man? Information. Information. Yes. I know what you think, government contacts. <laughs> Those same government contacts are made by information. You need to know who to connect with. Listen, everywhere on earth is about who you know. You have power because you know Christ. It's all about who do you know. Are you flowing? Hear this. I want you to see the next generation. It's what? Ehud. Eliakim. Azor. Zadok. Akim. Elud. Eliezer. Matham. Jacob. Joseph. Emmanuel. Jesus Christ. Do you see that? When we get to the end. My father who is glorious. My God will raise up a helper. The just one will the Lord raise up. My Lord God is my praise. God will help. May the gift of God increase for God who is with us, the Messiah, the Savior, those called out of Babylon. Everything, if you read it, you realize that everything makes sense to the end. The Bible is written in such a way that there are chords inside. Do you know a man called Eliao Rips? He created what is called the Bible chords. The Bible calls um, things that you can put your name. No, no, I'm not telling you this one because I know you people. You can put your name like this and it will be crossed with what will happen to your life. So what they do is they put it in a Hebrew text and feed your name in it. And it will give the main things that will happen to life. And only the Bible could do it. So, when he saw this, he went to give Yitzhak Rabin. And when he stood there, he told them, this is what I saw in the Bible codes. They ignored it. There, they put the name, and you see, with this one, it says, assassin will assassinate Yitzhak Rabin. And the name of the assassin came out. A year later, after this came out, he was assassinated on the exact day the Bible calls it revealed. This is just a text in a book. Like you take the book of Isaiah and you feed a name. Out of that book of Isaiah, it's as an equal skip. Gives you what will happen. Imagine they had to go to a computer. Yet a Christian like you and I are there. We could tell them before it happens. You will develop a voice, no matter who you are. You will develop a voice that you will speak a thing, and it will happen. A good news world with Hubert Angel. Provoking a reaction, and always worth hearing.